Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the introduction to C programming. If you talk about the C programming, C is the basics. And this is the language which is required by all other language. Now, if you talk about the introduction here, C was developed by the Dennis Ritchie. So the name of person who developed the C programming was Dennis Ritchie. And where he developed? He has developed into the Bell Laboratories which was into the USA in 1972. If you talk about the C, C is the combination of two programming languages. The first is the BCPL. BCPL stands for Basic Combined Programming Language. And second language is B. So out of these two languages, one is the BCPL, which is Basic Combined Programming Language, and second one is the B. The C was derived. So this is the C programming. So we can say that C was developed from two languages called BCPL and B. We know that there are multiple types of languages. Just like we are having the first type which is the HLL called high level languages. The other type is low level language. We should understand very important thing. We know that there are two things. Whenever we are working on a machine, then there is a machine just like our computer and there is a user that means me or you who are working on the system. So if we talk about the high level language, these are the languages which are purely into the English language. And if we talk about the low level language, they are into the machine readable form. So we can say that this is the machine language. This machine language is further into two forms. One is the binary. We know that we are dealing with zero and ones. This zero and ones are called the binary. And second thing is called the assembly language. Just like many of the times we have seen that we used to write some and then afterward we used to write in the bracket one comma two. So if we are writing some types of commands just like scan disk or maybe disk cleanup these commands are into the assembly language means they are not the purely English but they are some of the assembly so they all comes under the machine language so low level language contain machine languages which is the binary or assembly high level language is purely English but if you talk about the C programming language C programming comes in between high level and the low level which is called the middle level language so here we can say that the C programming is the middle level language which is having both the properties of high level language as well as the low level language. That means you can work with the code properly. It is very readable code as well as this code is the machine friendly. So you are having the assembly language also integrated into the C programming. So C is the middle level language which work between the high level as well as low level. So C programming combines the features of high level as well as low level languages. The second thing which is popular about the C programming language is that C is the structured programming language. To understand the structured programming, I'm taking one example here. Let us suppose that we are making a C program. We know that the C program is having the main function. So let us suppose that here we are having one block which is of main. We are assuming that we are having one more function available. Let us suppose that this function is for making the sum of two numbers. So here this block is for sum. Now we can see that the program of C is very readable. So here is the main function which is executing the main files. Now here it is the sum. Sum is a function who is only dedicated to the sum of two numbers. So everything is properly moduled. Moduled means this is the first module, this is the second module, module or the block. Whenever we are having separate separate coding areas for separate separate work, they are called the modules or the functions. So these are called the different different functions or the structure. So here in the C programming, we provide the proper structure that this one is the main program. This one is the function for making the sum. This one is a function for making the subtraction. So program is divided into small, small areas, which is called the modules. And this modules 
make the C programming is a structured programming. So we can say that C is a structured programming language because it contain small modules or blocks which are called functions. For the better understanding we can take that, let us suppose that this is our C program. In the C program we are having complete code. We know that let us suppose that there are 10 lines of the code. Now out of these 10 lines, first 10 lines we have made inside a function which is called sum. And afterwards the, again 5 lines we have made into the main. So here these are the two areas. The first area and the second area of the code. That means if somebody is coming to our code and he want to read that code. He can easily see that the first lines these are for the sum and other lines which are for the main. So complete program is not made into a sequence. Here program is divided into small small blocks so that it is more readable and more understandable. So these modules or the blocks which we have made in the program these are called the functions. Just like main is a function similarly there are multiple functions which we can define and whenever a programming language contains functions that is called the structured programming language. Next thing about the C programming is that C programming run with various operating system just like window, unix, dos and many more. But out of all the operating system if we see then C is more close to the unix operating system. What is the meaning of close? The close means if somebody is very near to some person. When we talk about the C programming, C programming was first designed for the unix. That's why it is more close. If we are talking about the C, it can run better in the Unix. All the code of C match with the Unix. Even the Unix was designed into the C programming. So the code which was made behind the Unix operating system is the C. So that's why C is more close to the Unix. But C can run on any of the operating system. It can be DOS, window, Unix or any other. So if you assume that this is our C programming language, it can work on the window, Unix and DOS. If we talk about the next feature of the C programming, then C is called the general purpose programming language. If we talk about the general purpose, that means it is going to solve the general life things. Let us suppose that we need a calculator for solving our daily problems. Then this calculator we can design with the help of C programming. Let us suppose that we want a small program. With the help of that, we want something to be solved. We can design it. If you want to design some game and we want a backend coding, we can design with the help of C programming. Even with the help of C programming, we can deal with the graphics. So this is a general purpose programming language which solve our generally daily basis problem. So that's why it is called general purpose programming language. If we talk about the C, then the next thing about the C is that it is also called system programming language. We know that whenever we are dealing with the programming languages, there are terms which are common just like operating system, interpreter, compiler, network driver, editor, database programs. These all things we can write from the C code. That means if you know the C programming, you can easily make operating system, interpreter, compiler or editor, anything. So we can write for, for all of them. If we talk about the operating system, then we know that we are having the Unix, Windows. So we can design operating system with the help of C programming. Interpreter and compiler, these both are used to convert high level language into the low level language. So interpreter work line by line and compiler work whole at a time. So we can design them. Network driver, we know that there are so many networking elements. Just like you know that there are the wireless mouse. So whenever you connect the wireless mouse automatically, that takes the driver. So from where that driver comes, who writes the driver? It is the C programming. So with the help of C, you can write for that. Editors, let us suppose that you are having some text editor, maybe notepad. So you can design that with the help of C programming. Database programs, whenever you are linking your program with the database, now at that time you need some kind of code. 
so that code you can easily provide so it is a system programming language means you can design the system software you can design all types of drivers with the help of c programming next thing about the c programming language is it contain variety of data types just like integer floating point or character so if you talk about the data type that means which type of data c programming support so first one is the integer let us suppose that we are having some number let's say 179 here we can see that it can be positive or negative but there is no decimal value so this is called integer then is the floating point or called float let us suppose that in this number 179 i am adding one decimal and afterward i am let's say saying 32 now this complete number is called floating number any number which contain decimal values is called the floating then is the character let us suppose that we are having the first character of my name let us suppose in the ankit we are having a is a character so that character we represent with the single quote so this is the character so character string floating point multiple data types are supported with the help of c programming language that means we can work with all such data in our program next thing about the c programming language is that it provide control flow statement to understand the control flow let us suppose we are having a c program inside the c program we are having some lines let us suppose that these are all lines printf scanf or maybe other lines which are present so these are the lines of the programming let us suppose that there is some kind of decision i want that first line should be executed but second line should not be executed so out of first and second line i am making a decision that first line should be executed and second line is not let's say first is the even number or not so it is a decision making let us suppose that i am giving you a number let's say 10 so computer can answer that 10 is a even number it will not answer that it is not a even number but let us suppose that i am giving you a 7 computer will answer it is a not even number it will not say you it is a even number so out of even or not even only one answer can come so that is called the decision making i am taking one more example here let us suppose that you have made a c program in the c program it is asking a user to enter a number now user enter a number now c program can answer it is a prime number or not a prime number two answers are there but computer can answer only one that means it is a prime number or not a prime number computer cannot give you both the answers so here is the decision making and for the decision making we are having the control statements which are the first one is if else and second one is switch case let us assume that in the same program we are having two lines which we want these lines should be executed let's say multiple number of times there should be a loop let us suppose that i want to print my name thousand times i will not write line of printf thousand times i will simply apply the looping control structure so here we will apply the loop if i want to repeat a task n number of times then we apply the loop let us suppose i am taking one more example here let us suppose i want to display the name of a student 100 times so it is not required to write printf statement 100 times no we simply apply the looping and in the looping control structure we are having the statements which are for while and do while so with the help of this control flow statements we can control the flow of programming means if you want that there should be some kind of decision then you do the decision making then yes and no can come just like with the help of if else or the switch case if you want to perform a task multiple times then you can take the help of looping with the for while and do while so that is all about the c programming language